After its launch just over a year ago, the Village Community Garden in Sylvester has quickly become a staple around that area as it provides not only food, but also hands-on experience and educational opportunities to the youth. Damon Jones has the story. With all kinds of fruits and vegetables growing from the ground, on wires, and even in aeroponic towers, it's hard to believe that just a year ago, none of this existed. And even harder to believe the man spearheading the operation was not a farmer, but rather a local artist. You know, when we first came here, there was just uh, an open, open space here in most people's mind. But as an artist, I could see what we're working on right now, and I even see greater things happening here. And now the Village Community Garden in Sylvester is growing everything from blueberries to eggplant. It's a project that not only helps feed the community, but also exposes the younger generation to agriculture. We feed a lot of people here in the community. We have a great time working with young people. We have the aeroponic towers here. We work with uh, Fort Valley State University, and uh, once again, we just have, we have a great time here with the young people. While everyone in the community, both young and old, help tend to the garden, its main focus is on the kids, as it shows them a different side of the industry. They may think that agriculture is just tractors and plows. What you see all around you is that this is much more than tractors and plows. This is about changing lives and saving lives. And a great example of this is field manager Janiah Green, who makes the trip over here every single day after school to make sure things are running smoothly. It's passion this 4 h developed from an early age. I was born and raised on the farm with my grandfather, and we've done a lot of different things with this. And my grandfather is also a supporter of the garden, and he helps us as well as out in the other garden at his field. And he raised me up on the field, and I felt like I could bring that knowledge from there to here, and also learn about the aeroponics. And what she enjoys most about the experience is getting a chance to incorporate new techniques in the field. The technology, I like both. Um, I call it old school and new school. I like both. Um, I was raised with the old school, but now the new school is like a new way for me just to learn about how to do agriculture and for like a new tech way to do agriculture. We want to have young people that have the, the hands-on experience and knowledge in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics through 4-H positive youth development experiences so that as they matriculate from high school, they'll be ready for higher, for higher education and they'll be college ready. While kids might be the main focus, it's clearly not the only one, as this garden has helped an entire community that was quick to embrace it. My whole thing is, is there a way to bridge art and agriculture? So that's my real interest here. But my number one interest is helping the people, helping the, a community like this community, Sylvester, Georgia, to become uh, a better place to live. It's a great place to live, but we can even make the best better. With this being the example, Hayes hopes this is just the first of many community gardens to pop up around the state. Now, the way that it is here doesn't mean that it has to be like this wherever you would like your village garden to be. But what it does is it helps to start the conversation that leads to the creation of change that we want to see in our neighborhoods. Reporting from Sylvester, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.